All right, getting started, you're gonna want a serger or a regular straight stitch sewing machine. We will be using both for this tutorial, but if you don't have a serger, it's not a big deal. You're gonna need your fabric, and we're gonna be using a stretchy knit fabric. It's gonna be a little bit thinner than most. A lot are made out of sweatpants material, and you can totally use that, but we're gonna be using a thinner one just because we want more of a drapey look. Then you're gonna need ribbing, and the ribbing is gonna be used for the waistband. And you're gonna want about two yards of regular fabric and then a quarter yard of ribbing. And lastly, you'll need your pattern, and this pattern is available at properfitclothing.com, and the link will be in the description. It's super easy to use. All you have to do is download it and cut it out, and this is what it looks like after it's taped together and cut out. And you're going to end up with a back panel, a front panel, a pocket panel, and a waistband panel. So go ahead and place your back panel with the arch facing the fold, trace it, and cut it out. And since we're using a thinner fabric, it's pretty hard to trace, so what we're going to do is just go ahead and pin it on and cut around it. And then once you open it up, you're going to see that you have a big panel with the full arch at the bottom. And then go ahead and do the same thing for the front panel. Grab your pocket panel, pin it to your fabric, and go ahead and cut out four of those. And then the waistband comes in a few different sizes, so go ahead and place it on the fold, pin it on, and cut it out. And the waistband is going to roll over, so be half the size, so keep that in mind. So if you want a wider waistband, just go ahead and cut it a little bit wider. And we show at the end what it looks like with a wide one and a short one. So go ahead and unfold your back panel and lay it out flat. And then grab two of your pocket panels. What we're going to do is place the right sides together with both straight edges lined up and then the droop of the pocket pointing down towards the bottom. And you're going to want to place these about two inches down from the top of the panel. This will give you enough allowance so that way you can sew the waistband on later. And what we're going to do is just sew that straight edge. And this will connect that pocket to the panel and we're going to want to do this for both sides. And we are going to use a serger for this part, but if you don't have a serger, it's not a big deal. Just go ahead and do a zigzag stitch. And then go ahead and repeat this process for the other pocket. And we're going to repeat the same process for the front panel. And just keep in mind, you want them the same distance down from the top as the back panel because we will be sewing the pockets together and we want them to line up. So now that we have all our pockets sewn on, we're gonna go ahead and fold them outwards and then place right sides together with front and back panels. And I recommend starting with one pocket at a time and you can go ahead and pin it if you want but we're just gonna go ahead and sew it. And what you're gonna do is sew around it. And we're gonna be just sewing around the pocket. And then again, we're gonna be doing the same thing for the other side. And we are gonna be using a zigzag stitch, so go ahead and start by sewing just that top part and then going around. And the reason we're sewing that top part too is because our serger will just cut the pocket if we try to sew that. So we're just going to get that out of the way for now. And then after we sew all the way around, we're going to come out and sew down just a little bit so we can start serging after that point. And there you have it. And if you open it up, you can see that it is a pocket. And you can totally do these on 
ton of different garments. They're super easy to do. And also if you want, you can take it to the next level and top stitch it, but you'd have to do this before you actually sew it together. But for this video, we're just gonna keep it simple and to the point. And then go ahead and repeat this process for the other pocket. Now that the pockets are sewn together, what we're going to do is finish off that side seam. Again, we're going to be using a serger for this part, but if you don't have a serger, just go ahead and keep using that zigzag stitch. And then go ahead and finish off both of the side seams. And now that both of the side seams are sewn up, we're gonna go ahead and finish the middle arch. And all you have to do is just line it up and sew it across. And you totally can pin this if you want. It'd be a little bit easier, but we're just gonna go ahead and sew it and just try to keep it lined up as we go. And next step is getting the waistband ready. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and fold it and sew it together to make a tube. So again, this waistband is gonna roll over. So if you want it wider, you're gonna to have to cut it a little bit wider because you're pretty much cutting it in half. And it's gonna look way shorter than the actual width of the pants because it's gonna stretch and cinch it together. Also keep in mind the size of these is not 100% because it's going to vary based on your waist size. The actual pants themselves are going to be fine, but the waistband is a little bit different because you really have to cut that for your exact measurement. So go ahead and roll that over on that seam and what you're going to do is line that seam up with the side seam on the pants. And I do recommend pinning that in and then stretching it across to the other side seam and then pinning it there too so you have an exact center point. So go ahead and take it to your serger or your zigzag stitch and sew all the way around that waistline. And the trick here is just to keep pulling on that ribbing as you're sewing so that way it makes it all the way around. And just pull the ribbing, not the other fabric. And this is what it looks like with a more narrow waistband. You can skip ahead and see what it looks like with the wider waistband. Next, we're gonna be doing the bottom cuffs and there's a few different ways you can do this. You can either roll them over, hem them and put a string in them or a lace. This would be the more standard way of doing it so that way you can cinch it up with the lace. But for this video, we're gonna be using ribbing because it's gonna give it more of a jogger look and we kinda of wanna mix the jogger with the harem pants look. So go ahead and take your ribbing and make it about half the size as the bottom opening. Because again, we want it to stretch and cinch together. Once you have your ribbing cut, go ahead and sew it together. And just like the waistband, it's gonna be folded in half, so keep in mind on how wide you wanna make it. And you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and make two of these. And then with the ribbing rolled over, go ahead and place the side seams together and sew all the way around that bottom opening. And then repeat this process for the other leg hole. And there you have it, super easy to do and it looks pretty cool. It looks like a jogger and a harem pants mixed, but you can totally do whatever you want for those bottoms. You can hem them, you can string them, do whatever. This is a look at the wider waistband. And there you have it, your harem pants are complete. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, let us know what you think. And if you have any ideas for us, feel free to shoot them our way. But in the meantime, we're gonna keep the videos coming at you, so we'll see you next time.